back again in the Sex and Abuse series and today I'm videoing number 13 which is Sex ab Abuse and Gaslighting and uh, I want to connect uh, gaslighting to the abusive situation and to sex in general just to keep placing sex there in the context of abuse because we often don't realize or understand that sex can be used in order to abuse and as a manipulation tool so today i've got my trusty notes here i want to just um, remind us of what gaslighting is first and it's a term that's used to describe any behavior that actually tries to convince the victim that she or he is crazy um, to destabilize the victim, to keep them off balance, uh, to create self-doubt because when we start to self-doubt then we begin to become our own worst enemy and we start to doubt our perceptions and we start to doubt our own confidence in ourselves and that affects our self-esteem as well so under the safe relationship training umbrella and uh, for our safe relationship toolbox it's a good idea to understand gaslighting and to be able to identify when we're being gaslighted and that is a really useful tool to have and we can understand that by observing we can listen <clears throat> we can have a very strong sense of self so that we know that when someone is trying to convince us that something is true when we know that it isn't true when we know that that thing didn't happen when they're saying that it did or when they're trying to rewrite history or they're trying to convince us that we are a certain way when we know that we're not or trying to convince us that we're mad crazy you're crazy to do that you're crazy to say that I didn't do that that didn't happen that's in your imagination that's your fantasy when we start to be told all these things and we have a very strong sense of self we're not going to believe the gaslighting and the gaslighting isn't going to be effective because for it to be effective and to begin to deconstruct destabilize, break down the victim so that she's more malleable or he's more malleable. It has to work. We have to believe what's being told. And if we don't believe that, then it just goes straight over our head and we're not affected by the gaslighting. But we need to be very strong spiritually for that to happen and to have the ability to walk away if we need to. So it's, it's used to um, weaken, really, this is the thing. The whole thing about abuse is to weaken the victims so that they are more controllable, they're more malleable, they're able to be moulded and groomed so that they are a victim. Now they're also casted, in other words. So they become um, doubtful about themselves and also, as I mentioned in other videos, we have intermittent reinforcement that is used as well. We have lots of good stuff inter interspersed in there, and that sort of um, falls off, uh, falls away over time, so that there's more uh, abuse introduced. So the gaslighting is used as far as sex and abuse is concerned as well, because once it starts to break down the, the victim's psyche, and their belief in themselves they're more open to more abuse in other areas and sexual abuse can be brought in then because the the victim themselves have opened themselves up are more vulnerable to accepting all that the, the abuser says because they've accepted what they said in other areas and so they're vulnerable and they're able to be manipulated sexually in order to do what the abuser wants them to do. So 
the gaslighting is used to weaken the victim and also get them to open up to more abuse in future because once the abuser is able to gaslight then the field is free for them because then you're going to accept anything that they say and you're more able to accept sexual abuse they're going to be able to brainwash you even more because they have seen that you're willing to be molded you're willing to be deceived and you're willing to be groomed to become the type of partner that they need and this creates a lot of insecurity in the victim and they are often unable because they're gripped in this reality that's being created for them and they're unable to move out of that because they've given away their power they no longer have the tools necessary such as assertiveness high self-esteem and confidence they no longer have those resources in order to get themselves out because even their perception through the gaslighting is being changed and molded by the abuser and controlled by the abuser. And when that happens as well, of course, the abuser has access to the soul and the soul can be directed and manipulated as well and the consciousness of the victim. So the abuse keeps them in the role of the victim. That's important to understand. And over a long period of time, potentially, the victim is molded. They feel their identity is changing. They're not the person that they were. They no longer recognize themselves in the end. And they no longer have the strength to leave. So having been depowered, having been um, weakened in this way they are completely at the end of the day at the mercy of the abuser and i wanted to highlight today the importance of understanding gaslighting because it's it's a major part of the abusive dynamic and i wanted to emphasize the importance of that opening us up to sexual abuse the sexual abuse comes right into the heart of us affects us on an intimate level so I wanted to make those two connections today so that we understand that gaslighting opens us up to even more abuse in the future so as always stay safe and very happy bye bye